Hi, I'm Charlie, and today we're going to be updating a K32, somewhere right in there, uh, to the most recent release for Falcon Pie Player. Installing FPP is pretty simple, only takes a few clicks. It will take a little while for the updates to happen. Uh, today we're going to be updating a BeagleBone Black that uh, is running my K32, but this process will work for any Pi BeagleBone style that you have, um, or really anything running FPP, it's going to be about the same. So with that, let's get going. So here I have FPP open on my K32. Uh, we're currently running version 5.3. We can see that in the upper corner. We'll zoom in a little bit here. And so we need to get to the version. There's two ways, or to the about page. There's two ways to do that. You can click on the V5.3 in the upper left-hand corner next to the FPP logo. That'll bring you there. Or by going to help and about that will bring you to the about page as well. So what we need to do here is, I've already downloaded the 6.0.2 already, but usually it'll have a little, a little download symbol or wording next to it if you actually need to download it. If you do not have that, that means that it's already downloaded and this process will go a little quicker. So usually if you change versions, it won't delete a different one, it just, uh, will require you to download ones that you have not installed before. So we're gonna click this upgrade OS button. It's gonna ask us, are we sure we wanna do this? Can take a long time. It's recommended to make a backup. Uh, a lot of this comes directly from x -Lights. I'm not too concerned about making a backup here. So I'm gonna click okay. And normally it would start with a download first. However, since I already have it downloaded, this is gonna go a little going to go walk away for about 10, 15 minutes and come back and see where this is at. But we will fast forward this for you. Okay, so we just finished up there. It is currently rebooting. That's going to take a couple minutes for it to reboot. And I'm going to refresh my page. Hopefully it comes up soon. Uh, one thing to note is after a big OS update. If you do not have a static IP set on your router, it very easily could uh, jump to a new IP address. So if you get a site can't be reached error like this one, uh, you might need to go into your router or look at the screen on the BeagleBone to see what IP it was assigned. I have this static IP assigned on my router, so this shouldn't cause any issues here. And it looks like we are up and running here. So there's one last thing that I want to do. So I'm going to go back to help and about. And you can see up here we're on 6.02 now. I want to click on upgrade FPP. This is going to essentially upgrade FPP, the software to the newest uh, release that's available. I found that this sometimes helps with small issues like the FPP, FPPD not running all the time. Um, this can sometimes fix it. But once this is done, you are all updated and ready to go for the season. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.